My name's Nico. I'm Sarah. We both think soccer is the greatest sport on the planet. Nico thinks soccer is the best. Personally, it's water polo. That's your opinion. So, Nico, what's your favorite soccer team? Spain, of course. That's not going to be good. Did you know that no European teams have won the World Cup outside of Europe? No, I didn't know that. Well, even worse, 2014 World Cup in Brazil. Oh my. You know the 2010 World Cup soccer ball is called the Jabulani? That means bringing joy to everyone in Zulu. I didn't know you could speak Zulu. Did you know that the traditional soccer ball is actually a geometric marvel of engineering? <laughs> Wait. This soccer ball is made up of 12 pentagons and 20 hexagons. These two shapes are stitched together to make a three-dimensional sphere. You know, I bet if we had just one side length, we could figure out the surface area and the diameter of this soccer ball. I bet you could. Alright, here's your project. You need to figure out the surface area. If one, if one of these hexagons' side length is 4.2 centimeters. Remember, there's 12 pentagons and 20 hexagons. After finding that, Use the surface area formula to find the diameter and radius of the soccer ball. Good luck.